that spends a lot of its life hanging upside down. It has big wings and likes to come out at night. Do you know what it is? Oh! That's better! It's a bat. Shall we squiggle our own bat? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> Line. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's start with the bottom of the bat's wings. We'll need a bumpy line for those. I love bumpy lines. Squiggle one with me. Bump. 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 What's yours like? Bump, bump, bump. Then curve around. Let's do the same for the other wing. Bump, bump, bump. And curve around. Let's squiggle our bat a nice round head. Two eyes. One, two, and we can use our bumpy line for his nose with two dots for nostrils then a big smiley mouth two pointy ears and some little feet one two and there's our bat shall we meet him? say the magic words with me one, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. <laughs> He's gone to sleep. Bats normally sleep in the day and come out at night. Shh! <coughs> Morning! I'm Bart. I just had a really good nap. Hello, Bart. I'm Squigglet. It was funny watching you sleep upside down. That's because I'm a bat. But now I've got to try and get my little brother Boris to have his nap. I promised my mum. Oh, right. Boris never wants to go to sleep. Oh dear, maybe we can help you. That'd be brilliant. Where's Boris now? At home, number three, Cave Court, Cave Town. Shall we squiggle Bart's house in Cave Town? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We can use a really big, bumpy line to squiggle a row of caves. Ready? Bump, 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 bump. Then a straight line across the bottom. Now we need some curved lines to make three doors. One, two, Three. And some handles. One, two, three. Then a window. Up, over, and across. With a pattern on it. Let's squiggle another window. 
Bart lives at number three. Why don't you colour yours in while I squiggle some more windows in the rest of Cave Court? <laughs> oh! What do you think that noise can be? It's my little brother Boris, and he's definitely not asleep yet. Come in! It's time for your nap now. Oh, you! <laughs> you're not sleepy. Boris really isn't sleepy, is he? Mum's going to be back soon. I've got to get him to have his nap. Where does Boris sleep, Bart? Boris' bed. Oh, I think he's gone to... <laughs> Really? Boris not sleepy. Boris make music. How am I ever going to get him to sleep, Squiglet? Maybe he'd be more comfy sleeping in a cot instead of upside down. It's worth a try. Mm, but we don't have a cot. No problem. We can squiggle one. Have you got your squiggle pads? And squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's start with a straight line for the top of the cot. Ready? Across, across, then curve all the way round underneath. Now for the hood. We need a straight line and a curved line. Great! Now we need some straight lines for the legs of the cot. And join them up. We can use our bumpy line to make a snuggly blanket. Bump, 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 bump. I'm going to colour my cot red and blue. What colour are you going to make yours? Finished! One cosy cot for Boris. Brilliant! Thanks, everyone. Come and look at this comfy cot, Boris. Do you think Boris is going to like it? Very comfy. Rock, Boris? OK. <laughs> We need to find another way to get him to sleep. I can't think straight with all this noise. Let's go to my room where it's quiet. Phew, that's better. It's a bit quieter in here. Yes. Oh, what now? Give up, Bart. There must be something we can do. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you spot something to help Boris have his nap? It's quiet time at the nursery. And what's this? The teacher is playing some gentle, tinkly music on the xylophone. It's making the children nice and relaxed. So relaxed they are going to sleep. Sleep tight. Did you spot something that might help Boris have his nap? That music was making those children really sleepy. Maybe some soft xylophone music will make Boris sleepy too. Yes, 
The kind of music Boris makes keeps him awake. But xylophone music is different. It's quiet. I'll try anything. But where am I going to get a xylophone from in Cave Court? Easy. We can squiggle you one. Have you got your squiggle pads? And squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We can use our bumpy line to make the top and bottom of a xylophone. Ready? Bump. 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 Then straight down and bump across. Bump. 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 Then straight up. We need to make the different keys. We can use straight lines for those. Down. Down. Then some round lines, two on each key. We need a beater. A round line with a straight line down. I'm going to make each bar of my xylophone a different colour. What colours are you going to make yours? There! One xylophone and a beater to play it with. Thanks, everyone! Now let's see if I can play it. This music is very soothing. Boys have nap now. We've done it! Mum will be so pleased. Thanks, Squiglet. Thanks, everyone. At last, little Boris is having his nap. Join in with our song. But we don't want to wake Boris, so let's sing it. Quietly. Tip, tip, tap on a xylophone. Blow soft on a big trombone. Pit a pat on a little drum. Or play guitar with a gentle strum. Music can make sleepy sounds to help you have a nap. So play soft notes that float around Don't stomp or shout or clap No! Ring a ding on a little bell Hear the sea in a tiny shell Blow soft on your kazoo Or a quiet note on a flute will do Music can make sleepy sounds to help you have your nap So play soft notes that float around Don't stomp or shout or clap When you need a nap Making quiet music is fun <sighs> And now I'm feeling sleepy Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling. Bye!